grow as a fighter. In order to grow as a fighter and be ready for the championship <laughs> fights in the near future. Oscar, uh, we didn't get your take on Canelo's upcoming fight with Bibo. I know we spoke about what he should do next about a week ago, but uh, what do you think about this matchup stylistically out of the full 175? I, I love the matchup. I love I love the fact that he chose him. Uh, he's a dangerous guy. Um, I just hope that uh, I just hope that uh, that the U.S. allows him into into our country uh, because he is from Russia. He's training in Russia, so. I just, I sure hope that uh, that he can fly over and uh, and that fight happens. Yeah. Speaking about that fight, it was offered that Charlo Benavidez or Vivo GG. Which route would you think he should have took? You think he took the right route? I, I think he took the either route. Uh, it's great. I think uh, I think as long as he fights everybody, um, it's it's great for boxing. But it, now that I think about it, it does worry me that Vivo being Russian. Can he get into the states? His training, That's going to be the problem. His training camp did kick off in Uzbekistan. What's that? Uh, his, his training camp kicked off in Uzbekistan, so he might be able to go around. But um, okay. aside from Bibo, what, um, what, what is he? What challenge does he present for Canelo? Can he pull it off? Can he be Canelo? Can he be? I, I really haven't studied uh, Bibo too much, but um, but I'm actually excited that that fight is taking place. Bivol is one of the dangerous ones, um, and so either either fight with Charlo with uh, all the the rest of the guys, it's uh, it's a great choice. I think Bivol is a perfect choice. He's he's a dangerous fighter. He uh, he can derail Canelo at any time. So so um, you know I think I think he made the right choice. Yeah. Okay. Last last thing. Um, you gotta be proud of where Canelo's at. You had a lot to do with building him up. Um, just reflecting back on you guys just ran prior to him uh, parting ways a golden boy where he's at now it looks like he's looking at three fights for 160 million dollars that's big oscar you had a lot to do with that that keeps mexican yeah. boxing at the very top we're proud of it i mean we're proud of what we build we're proud of uh we're proud of the foundation that we've laid for him um you know and now uh now we're excited to be working with the next superstar which is ryan garcia and so it never stops with us. Uh, we know how to build champions, and uh, that's that's what we do best.